Welcome back. In this nutrition clip, I'm going to talk about protein. Let's start out. What are proteins? Proteins are made up of amino acids that act as important building blocks for the body. Dietary sources of protein include things like meat, fish, eggs, cheese and milk. Now the sources that I've just mentioned, they all contain all of the nine essential amino acids. The essential amino acids are the ones that the body cannot produce unless you eat them, you take them from an external source. So they're important to get in your diet. Let's take a closer look at protein's function in the body now. Protein is a great source of energy that provides four calories per gram. It helps the body to transport nutrients to all the tissues around the body. So it helps uh, deliver the nutrients your body needs to all the different areas. Crucially, especially as it relates to exercise, it supports protein synthesis. Now, the protein synthesis is where tissue growth occurs, muscle tissue growth and maintenance of, of acquired muscle tissue occurs. So after you've had a workout, your muscle protein synthesis rates elevate and providing your body with protein at that point will help the body build and maintain its muscle tissue. What happens if you eat too little protein? Well, there are a couple of uh, issues if you do eat too little. One is your immune system function will start to decrease, so you'll be less good at warding off uh, colds, flus, and, and things like that, and, and diseases of a more serious nature as well. Um, and also, all the functioning of our organs, all our different organs, becomes impaired, but mainly the kidneys. But too much protein is not a good thing either. So, what is optimal protein intake? Science has shown us that most of us need to consume somewhere in the region of 75 to 200 grams of protein per day. Now this is largely dependent, that, that scale, that range is largely dependent on your height and your build. Research has also shown us that healthy adults who are engaged in a strength training program like your quick hit workouts typically need to consume between 0.75 grams and one gram of protein per pound of your own body weight. Let's break that down. So for a man who weighs 180 pounds, they're going to need to consume somewhere between 135 and 180 grams of protein per day. That's roughly 20 to 25 ounces of cooked meat. Because remember, meat has other things in it as well as protein. So for, for a 180 pound man, about 20 to 25 ounces of cooked meat a day. For a 130 pound woman, that works out at about 100 to 130 grams of protein a day, or roughly 15 to 20 ounces of cooked meat. So that should give you a perspective on what that amount of protein would look like. In addition to what you need to take in on a daily basis, some really cool research has shown that it's important if we're engaged in strength training and working out to get in about 35 grams of protein fairly soon after your workout and that'll support the body's positive response to the workout. Remember, if you're pushed for time, Quick Hit offers a selection of protein powders, meal replacements, protein bars, and even ready meals to make it easy for you to get that healthy protein in.